Hey guys, Red Pen Money here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, I just plugged in the Alphapex DG2 Plus. This is a new Litecoin and slash merge mining Dogecoin ASIC miner from Alphapex. This is a monster. You guys saw the power consumption earlier, about 3780 watts right now at my ambient temperature of about 60, 70 Fahrenheit. So below average right now in my basement, it's getting cooler as it's fall now, summer's kind of ending. So temperatures have been dropping outside for me. So this monster DG2 Plus is mining at 20.5, or I think 21 gigahash right now. And yeah, so the efficiency of this thing is quite amazing. I do want to run through some numbers later on in this video in my ASIC sheet comparing it to like you know the bitmain l9 and other models out there but man this thing is is a monster before i unpacked it i actually took apart the top and also just to make sure you know nothing was unplugged from shipping and nothing was unplugged it was it was completely fine made sure everything was all plugged in and tight and then put the cover back on and then I turned it on here. So yeah, this thing is cooking right now on nice hash. And again, here is the power consumption I'm getting on this unit right now, the DG2 Plus, 37.93 watts. It does fluctuate. I just heard the fans ramp up. This thing is, you know, in an environment like mine. The sound that this thing emits, I mean, all ASIC miners, as you guys can see. 90 95 decibels so obviously this unit works well for you know containers or people that get these hosted like i've said before with alpha packs their build quality is top tier also we did confirm that the dg2 that i received i think like a month ago and now the dg2 plus i looked at the hash board on this one this one also has thermal pad as well so the temperatures which i'll show you guys in the computer is really good the hash board temperatures this thing is going to sustain long term especially for those that are going to run these at much cheaper electrical rates so i highly recommend for anyone that's going to scale into script mining i highly recommend the alpha pex units i have five myself i have like a couple dg1 pluses dg1 lights and they've been running flawlessly for the past year and a half and with a lot of my bitmain units that i have bitmain i man the quality control with bitmain is just terrible so if you are getting in the script, I highly recommend Alpha Packs for reliability and actually also repair. Okay, in case you need to get these repaired, Alpha Packs does have a repair center in Texas in the US. There's also one in Canada as well. Here's the back of the Alpha Packs DG2 Plus. Yeah, pretty standard. And this will fit in a standard rack, especially in like a container. I have uh, a few of my Alpha Packs units hosted at various containers and they fit no issue. So standard 120 mil fans uh, front and back. Okay, I wanna show you guys the profitability currently, how much this thing is making and looking at the efficiency against other uh, script miners that are out there right now and just, I guess, the state of Dogecoin mining currently. All right, I'll see you guys in the computer. Okay, sorry for the flashbang. There's no dark mode for the web GUI of the Alphapex DG2 Plus here. So, very similar web GUI as the other Alpha Pax units. It's it's really the exact same way. Right now, I have it mining to nice hash, and I'll just show you here. Confirmed, it is showing up here. I call it DG2 Plus. 20.52 giga hash here. It says actual profitability 2366. It fluctuates a lot. But uh, actually, you know, with the state of the market right now, <laughs> as of recording, it's September 25th. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Dogecoin's price is about 22 cents. So it did go down about three or 4% over the past day here as of recording or <laughs> almost 18, 17% down over the past seven days. But that's besides the point. Okay, so this Alphapex DG2 plus okay the plus model there's a dg2 and then there's a dg2 plus quick pause if you guys want to comment down below your thoughts of the dg2 plus or any other alpha fx miner out there just let me know down below and i'm going to choose a winner for 24 hour hash rate of this thing to a pool of your choice and uh your worker name all that kind of stuff i'll you'll have to email me uh, i'll reply to your comment if you have one so i'll choose a winner in 24 hours good luck all right back to the video so the DG2 Plus here advertised is supposed to get about uh, 20.5 giga hash, right? So the one that I'm getting right now, the one the one that I have is about averaging about 20.8 giga hash here. 
And uh, according to the web GUI, um, now according to NiceHash, it says 20.5. So this might be the uh, the actual, uh, the better number here, but it hasn't been 24 hours yet as of recording uh, with this unit. It's been about six hours runtime with this. So as you guys can see here. Now, looking at the temperature reading down here, okay, you can actually see the hash boards are pretty cool. Well, granted, again, my ambient temperature down in my basement is 69, 70 Fahrenheit. So pretty cool. It's pretty cool down there. So obviously this thing is running pretty good, but much better than if I had it at maybe 80 or 90 Fahrenheit or 100 Fahrenheit, which I will test out later on when my basement is a bit hotter over the next week. I get to, I don't get to keep this DG2 Plus. I get to run it for the next couple of weeks here. And uh, once my basement gets much hotter, I'm kind of curious to see what it will run at like 95 Fahrenheit. As you guys can see here, I have tested the DG2 um, non plus here at, you know, 75, uh, 79 Fahrenheit, 81 Fahrenheit, 95 Fahrenheit. So obviously as the temperature, the ambient temperatures get hotter for the DG2, the watt per hash gets worse because it uses a lot more power. So I'm expecting that will be the exact same uh, exact same performance with the uh, DG2 Plus. So if I ran this at, you know, 90, 95 Fahrenheit, this thing's probably going to pull over. I'm going to say 4,000, maybe 3,900 watts or so. I'm going to have to test that once my basement is a little bit hotter, maybe uh, in an actual environment that's, you know, maybe summertime or, you know, <laughs> when it's hotter, maybe I'll turn on some more rigs in order to get that basement a little bit hotter and turn off my uh, swamp cooler <laughs> I actually have going right on right now. But right now it's getting an efficiency of 0.18, okay? 0.18 watt per hash. So that's pretty good, right? Compared to advertised uh, 20.5 at 3,900 watts, uh, advertised watt per hash about 0.19. And so now comparing it to other script miners out there, we got the Volk Miner D1 Pro, we have the Bitmain L9, right? The notorious Bitmain L9, which I would say is one of the more popular script miners out there. Uh, maybe not. I think Alphapex is, you know, becoming the next biggest script player in the game for script mining. And again, I highly recommend Alphapex versus Bitmain uh, when it comes to just reliability. It's just Alphapex seems to be uh, much better in that regard. I heard Bitmain had a few, uh, I guess a batch where the power supplies was bad. And I've heard uh, a few people that had bad hash boards and, you know, just the repairability. I know with, with Bitmain, there are a lot of repair centers in the US for Bitmain. So I guess it just depends on what you, <laughs> it's natural selection. <laughs> with Bitmain, you're, you're pretty much getting a unit that you don't know if it's uh, you know going to be good or you're going to have to go get it fixed uh, maybe a couple months later and you know spend a couple hundred you know dollars and wait a couple of weeks for it to get come back to you or a couple months don't ask me how i had my experience with my bitmain s21 pro that died after a couple months and sent it to china and i never got it back anyways so now not, let's talk about the price okay the price of the dg2 plus is okay on alphapex's website it says $10,045 and it doesn't ship out until February. So as of recording, again, it's September 25th of 2025. So that's a good, what, five, six months away. So I'll talk about the, I guess, the risk and, you know, potential here. Uh, but just comparing the dollar per hash as of right now, because I guess you're going to have to wait, you know, five, six months until you actually get it. Dollar per hash of the DG2 Plus, comparing it to other units out there right now, it's about a... 0.48 uh, dollar per mega hash. All right, so there are definitely a lot of other, you know, script mining prices out there. Looks like the Bitmain ones I'm gonna have to reprice because I know these prices, I have to update. I, this is a sheet I update manually. Link down below if you guys wanna see this sheet. I also have, you know, Bitcoin miners, script miners, solo miners, uh, efficiencies and numbers and all that kind of stuff here. Um, link down below for the Google sheet if you wanna access it. But just judging by the dollar per hash, I think Alphapex maybe should bring, definitely should bring the price down <laughs> on this guy. I think this is too much, $10,000 for this unit, even though I know right now uh, the DG2 uh, 2 Plus is making about, what, $20 a day at seven. Uh, I put my electrical rate in at my house here, seven, five cents. So, so it makes about 20 bucks a day. I don't think that should equate to a $10,000 miner, uh, especially comparing to the competition. So I, I'm... I'm hopeful that, you know, Alphapex will drop down the price of these things. I'm, I'm going to say at most, I mean, 
85, maybe, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see, you know, 75. I would love to see Alpha Pex come in line with Bitmain pricing uh, when it comes to these script miners, just to be a lot more competitive and also just, you know, have higher market share uh, in the game, you know, compared to, you know, Bitmain. That's, that's you know, dominating the space with their miners. I, I think Alpha Pex, I mean, don't get me wrong, Alpha Pex, I know a lot of people who have Alpha, Alpha Pex units, but just in my opinion, I think Alpha Pex should lower their prices just to be a lot more competitive. And uh, yeah, and especially if it's a, you know, five, six month out shipping date for this unit. I mean, I think it's not fair for me to say comparing it to the L9, which is currently out right now, but the efficiency comparing it to the L9, it's a couple points worse, right? From 0.21 watt per hash going down to 0.18. I mean, efficiency matters. Electrical rate really does matter as well. Again, I for anyone that's buying these units, it's really big players, uh, people that are scaling and have cheap power, etc. Or if you're a singular person, you want to get your miner hosted, go check out terrahosting.io or Iowa Crypto Mining or Metered Mining. I have a list of uh, ASIC uh, hosting providers in, on my website, redpandamining.com, if you're interested. But anyways, I know with Bitmain, the L9 is coming. Okay, there's an L9, uh, sorry, L11 Pro. L11 that has been announced touting 20 giga hash, right? Or 21 uh, giga hash, uh, 11, uh, L11 Pro. So, you know, these are getting what? 0 0.17, 0 0.18 watt per hash. Pretty much the same as the DG2 Plus, uh, I'm going to say. But it's also going to depend on your environment. Because with the Bitmain units, I know, uh, which I've tested with an L9, you know, <laughs> depending on your ambient, if it's hotter, the thing's going to pull like 200 more watts. So the efficiency gets much worse. So I think, yeah, L11 Pro and uh, DG2 Plus, they're probably going to be the same efficiency. But what it's going to come down to is the price. So I really think if Alphapex wants to beat out Bitmain here, Alphapex needs to uh, bring down the price of the uh, DG2 Plus. I think, um, I think that would bode better. But now let me talk about the risk here. Okay, so for anyone that's thinking about buying one of these things, currently... Uh, Litecoin network hash rate is about 2.8 petahash. All right, it's grown almost almost a good 1.8 petahash over the past year. It hasn't even been a year yet. I'd say a good 10 months. The network hash rate for Litecoin has jumped 1.8 petahash. So we're almost at a three petahash uh, network hash rate here for Litecoin. So, uh, you know, Litecoin and then there's merge mining Dogecoin and a bunch of auxiliary other merge mineable coins. Um, hopefully you guys understand that. Uh, I'm not going to get into that, but, um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of coins, a lot of merge mineable coins and auxiliary coins that go along with mining Litecoin. So the hash rate, it's, it's continuing to climb, right? It's continuing to go higher. And I think that it's only going to get higher because sustainability, uh, with a lot of these Dogecoin miners has been, has been pretty good, um, where Dogecoin's price is currently, and has been over the past, I guess, year. It's been pretty solid, but this is going to go in line with how you believe, you know, the market's going to go up into the future. And I, <laughs> personally, I think, you know, crypto is here to stay and crypto currency in general, or Bitcoin or even Dogecoin, um, these two networks are pretty high proof of work coins that have very high emissions. Dogecoin is emitting uh, $3 million a day for all the miners, all the people that are mining Dogecoin. Litecoin, $356,000 a day. And, you know, Bitcoin, almost $50 million a day. You know, it's a lot of money that's uh, being spread out across all the miners for, for those that are mining these coins. The money is being spread out quite a bit. And so how we are seeing, you know, older, even older models like the Bitmain L7, it's still a profitable unit at, you know, hosting rates, for example. Um, so I think there's still room uh, to grow, especially with the market, especially with Dogecoin and whatnot, not financial advice. Um, but, you know, as you see for anyone, again, I, I really think for anyone that's going to try to buy these at home, these miners at home, it's not going to work out because, you know, it's pulling out this much power. It's allowed, right? And uh, most residential electric home miners have more than 10, 20, you know, 30 cents electric. It's not going to be that great uh, for you, especially, okay, so right now, if you had this now, again, it's going to come out in six months. DG2 Plus at 15 cents. Currently, if you had 15 cents per kilowatt hour, it would make you 13 bucks a day after 
uh, electric or 26 bucks uh, free uh, free power. So, you know, I think that it's, yeah, if you're going to go for a home miner, then maybe you're going to look for a uh, DG Home, right? Uh, DG Home 1, okay? Which, uh, if anyone wants one of these, uh, I do have a code. I believe it's Panda200. Another 200 bucks off. It goes for about 900 bucks for this unit uh, if you want uh, the DG Home 1. Um, so go check it out if you're interested. Okay, but all right, guys. So that's that's it. Yeah, I think um, the Alpha Pex DG2 Plus is pretty nice unit i honestly i would love to have this unit personally i just again i think the price is a bit high and they should really bring it down to to be a lot more competitive than bitmain i think alpha packs can do it i don't know <laughs> you guys tell me but um yeah otherwise it's working just fine the, <laughs> the temperatures on these because they have thermal pads are so good and i think i screwed up the alpha Pex dg2 plus has four hash boards and the dg2 has three hash boards from when I was looking back in my live stream when I did that video. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts about the DG2 Plus. Again, comment down below if you guys want 24 hour hash rate from this thing. Comment down below your thoughts. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.